T minus one minute. Sound suppression water system now armed. The solid rocket booster joint heaters are being turned off. And we're now go inertial. The navigation system is activated. Auxiliary power units have started. Solid rocket motor nozzle gimbal checks are underway. Ignition system is armed. Sound suppression water system is activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of Ares 1X. Testing concepts for the future of new rocket design. Altitude now two miles. Taper pressure now tapering off as designed. The vehicle is lining, aligned itself with the planned trajectory. We passed Mach 1 and we're now passing Max Q. We have our Max Q system ID maneuver PTI engaged. Solid motor chamber pressure picking up again. T plus 62 seconds. Now passing Mach 2. Vehicle now 10 miles altitude, downrange distance 8 miles, and a velocity of 1580 seconds. We've started our supersonic large amplitude ID maneuver PTI. We see the response. Started the last PTI maneuver, structural mode ID, and we passed T plus 105 seconds. Vehicle's now traveling Mach 4, 20 miles altitude, downrange distance 32 miles. The uh, SRM tail off is observed. Burnout. Our APUs have shut down, CRDs have shut down, BDM fire. And SEP. We show a SEP. And we'll have a burnout orbit uh, parameter in just a second. These numbers were calculated right at burnout. The height of apogee, 21.92 nautical miles. And again, that's not peak altitude because the vehicle was still drifting up but that is at burnout. Coming up on T plus 190 seconds. After vehicle separation, we have no guidance tele telemetry return. And we did have some brief video of uh, one of the chutes deploying. And this is uh, Harry's 1X flight commentary. Uh, we're basically done with the uh, active part of the mission. Now it's recovery time, and we still have not heard uh, positive confirmation from the first for the first stage splashdown, but we expect it. It may have been missed uh, on our audio channel. And uh, just let's think about what we just did. Our first flight test, and the only thing we were waiting on was weather.
NASA shows two different space vehicles.